So the first half of 2023 has been atrocious for many Americans, and we can all see it. The price of gas is steadily going up bit by bit. Groceries have continued to go up as well. You know, whether you frequent Walmart, Target, Costco, you know, any of your favorite retailers, they're all trying to make up for their losses due to theft. Wages have not exactly kept up with inflation. And sadly, a new report shows that bankruptcy filings are up as well, not to mention just pretty much all facets of the cost of living. Compared to last year, U.S. Chapter 11 bankruptcy filings, they have gone up 68%. And with a total of 2,973 filings just in the first six months of the year, which shows more and more businesses and families are struggling to keep things balanced. Now, there's a lot of variables here, guys. There's inflation, there's interest rates going up, and with the whole credit crunch, borrowing costs have also increased. But this is something that's confusing a lot of us. The Federal Reserve, more notably Fed Dallas President Lori Logan, she's saying that more rate increases will be needed to cool off the strong economy. I remain concerned about whether inflation will return to target in a sustainable and timely way. And I think more restrictive monetary policy will be needed to achieve the FOMC's goals of stable prices and maximum employment. So my hope was that the overall package of communications coming out of the June meeting would deliver a strong signal to financial markets and meaningfully tighten financial conditions. So at this point, it's important for the FOMC to follow through on the signal that we sent in June. Two thirds of FOMC participants projected at least two more rate increases this year. Significant unexpected events could always provide a reason to change course, but inflation in the labor market evolving more or less as expected wouldn't really change that overall outlook. To have confidence that inflation will return to target on an appropriate timetable, we need to see more than some continued very modest rebalancing. If we lose ground in our efforts to restore price stability, we'll need to do more later to catch up. And the rate increases we need to keep inflation expectations anchored in that scenario would be far worse for workers, households, businesses, and banks than more modest increases now. All right, so let's just go and take a quick poll in the comments here. If you guys think our economy is strong, go ahead and comment the word strong. But if not, just comment weak. This means that we should expect more interest rate hikes. And with that, more layoffs, higher borrowing costs. I mean, like you guys can already pretty much see the future with this one, right? Now, if only we had somebody who could lead us out of this mess, huh? Now, if you ask billionaire Bill Ackman, there's only one guy for the job. Any guesses as to who it is? Nope, it's not President Joe Biden. Nope, it's not even former President Donald Trump. It's not Florida Governor Ron DeSantis or even Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Bill Ackman sees that this role is fit for J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon. Hedge fund manager Bill Ackman uh, posting an essay on Twitter calling for Jamie Dimon to run for president. Ackman says Dimon is highly respected by the right, the left, and the center and has been pro-business and pro-free enterprise. Ackman said now's the time for Dimon to run uh, because President Biden is, in his words, extremely weak and in cognitive decline. He said uh, Diamond could beat former President Trump in the general election. Ackman said uh, in his words again, Jamie just needs a push uh, from people he respects and from the broader electorate. Now, I'm not really sure what he's gonna get out of pushing Diamond into the White House, but I'm pretty much guessing that he's interested in replacing Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary. Now, Diamond has received high praise from others before with notable names such as Warren Buffett and even former President Bill Clinton praising his leadership skills. However, and, and this is the important part here, he's a leader when it comes to the banking industry, not when it comes to leading the free world. But what do you guys think about this idea? Having a banker such as J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Diamond as our president President? Does it make sense or is this just too crazy to work? I mean, everybody said, hey, if we had a businessman in the presidential office, in the Oval Office, then we would be better off. We had Donald Trump in there. Are we better off? Now, speaking of crazy, it's insane to think that millions of Americans are now relocating, right? Gone are the days where we only moved because of employment or because we wanted a little bit more sun in our lives. These days, the motivation for some of us has gone down to different ideologies, crimes, and just an overall sense of disbelief as to what's happened to different parts of our beloved country. Just in California alone, half a million people moved out between April 2020 to July last year, and many of them are moving into Texas. Are any of you guys planning to move to any of these different states or cities anytime soon? Now, this leads me to the thought that I had recently. Like, do you guys ever just kind of like wake up and think to yourself, what the flip is happening in the United States? I mean, seriously, guys, like, like just what happened to us? We used to be setting the bar in everything, but now it just kind of feels like, like we're the ones that are actually getting left behind. And then I thought about it for a little bit more. Like, you know that 
five minutes that you give yourself before you actually get up. Well, I probably give myself like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. I'll be hitting that snooze alarm, but that's beside the point. I realized something, something that's already happened before is actually starting to happen again. And no, this time around, it's not bad news, at least for some of us. Now you might think that I'm crazy when I tell you guys that, you know, we are all about to hit a gold mine when it comes to small businesses. And yes, I'm uploading this in 2023. This is a new video, a time that when we look back on, many will think of bankruptcies and loss of savings, but not us. You see, you know, there's opportunities that are literally finally revealing themselves. So let me give you guys a quick rundown as to how all of this is happening and how you could actually take advantage of it. To say the economy is going through a rough patch would be an understatement. It would be more apt to say that it's going through more like a minefield where it has no idea where the next step was going to bring us. Now, I guess Bidenomics really isn't working out too well for the United States. Now, one clear sign that things are definitely falling apart is a spike in searches for the phrase pawn shop near me. Now, obviously, it's either one of two things. Either Americans are really eager to snatch up good deals and items within these different shops, or they're desperate for cash and they're now willing to go and actually sell some of their items just to get by. Now, which one do you think is more logical? So anyway, let's get back to the topic, pawn shops. The interest for this particular term is now at a national level, which means that there are more cash strapped Americans compared to last year. And if you know pawn shops, they don't just buy anything that you sell them. This isn't Pawn Stars. You know that show, right? I actually used to watch that show all the time, but not so much anymore. I'm guessing that more and more people are having to sell their jewelry. And I'm talking about gold, you know, just to keep their finances intact. Now, what's made it even worse for a lot of us is that interest rates continue to rise. And with that, those who incurred a lot of credit card bills, they're now on the hook. And if you could take one piece of advice from me, it would be probably to clean up your debt, literally pay off your high interest credit cards, pay off your car note, you know, if you got a car loan, and then ultimately, you know, pay off your house if you can. Don't let that thing hang around too long because you're not going to enjoy its company. So why is this a good time for businesses and for even investors? Well, think about it this way. People are letting go of their assets for cheap because they need money now, not later, not tomorrow, now. And if you've been wise with your cash, you got a little dry powder sitting around, which I know a lot of you guys have, especially since you've been following this channel, you guys are now ready to set yourself up for some very good deals. Don't think of it as taking advantage of the hardships of others. It wasn't you that racked up all those credit card bills. It wasn't you that bought a new car when they when you still had a perfectly good one running. It wasn't you who went on these lavish vacations, balling out of control, stunting on the gram. It was them. The best thing that you did was hold back when everybody else was going all in. And while each person will have a different path to financial freedom, the steps remain the same. Start small and build your way up. I mean, think of side hustles. And of course, think of small businesses and home-based businesses, ventures that could potentially generate multiple streams of income. Now, we also cannot forget about investments. Those are incredibly important. But just like pawn shops, opportunities are opening up in real estate and in the stock market, index funds, ETFs, options, you name it. You just need to look for that opening. Now, I know it sounds intimidating and, you know, it is to some extent, and that is the reason why I'm here. Now, if you guys want to talk more about these different topics, different opportunities, definitely hit me up in the comment section down below. I love making these videos for you guys. And if you want me to make videos on investing, investing in the stock market, index funds, ETFs, real estate, or even starting an online business or a home-based business, definitely let me know by dropping a quick comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. Now, before I go, please drop a quick thumbs up for the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe.